we can't not talk about Lake Base without talking about Neon acquisition, because that's what power the innovations behind Lake Base. So with that, I would actually like to invite the CEO of Neon, Nikita, onto stage um, to talk about to us. Nice shirt. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, so Nikita, um, you started Neon together with Stas and Hecky about four years ago. And at the time, and Neon became sort of the leading serverless Postgres company. But at the time, there was a lot of other Postgres companies, and all the hyperscalers had Postgres. What problem were you trying to solve? So we, we actually focused on uh, developer experience of all the things. The, the biggest Neon innovation is uh, separation of storage and compute, which does allow us to store data in an open format inside of the cheapest medium, uh, cloud object stores and you know, lake house. Now, what does it have to do with developer experience? Well, actually, a lot. So the one thing that it does allow you to do is to make a serverless system. And without separation of storage and compute, you, it's actually kind of impossible to make a system serverless, especially a system that is kind of a traditional database like Postgres. So now you can think about a database as just being a URL, right? And this URL is something your application interfaces with. And then according to the application, it will increase the size or decrease the size or scale all the way to zero if you stop uh, driving that system, which is very convenient. You don't have to think about sizing. And you only pay for what you use. The other thing that we, we quickly realized when we kind of put a magnifying glass over the developer experience is that developers like to integrate their systems in their developer workflow. And that's where the idea of branching came in. And again, it's only possible to deliver on branching when you branch both schema and data if you separate storage and compute. So now- to um, do it instantly, at least. Yeah, and to do it instantly as well, right? We use copy and write for this. Um, now, to copy and write is not a new idea, but packaging in, 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 in a way that developers can self-serve consume was a big innovation from Neon. Makes sense. Um, one other thing that was actually very surprising to me, at least, is um, we noticed um, throughout the process, hey, 80% of the databases created on Neon.com um, were created by AI agents, not humans. So AI agents actually create four times more databases. And here's sort of a chart. And it started at 30%. What's going on there? Can you tell us more about yeah, that? Yeah, that, that's right. Um, so, so last year, um, we had 30%. Now we're 80%. I actually want to make um, a kind of bold prediction. In a couple of years, I think 99% of all the databases on the platform will be created uh, um, by AI, by AI agents. I, I think we're at the dawn of the AI software revolution, and every engineer is becoming an AI engineer. What, what this means is if it's a human, uh, then the human is levered by this modern tools such as Cursor, a Windsurf, or Microsoft Copilot. And, um, but also, we're now starting to, to have uh, fully autonomous AI software agents, agents that generate software. Um, you know, specifically, um, partners of Databricks, uh, Replit and, and Lovable that are, that are here, part, uh, part of the, uh, our launch partners here, um, they, they just generate apps from a prompt. And since every application requires uh, needs a database, um, Neon is a perfect solution for that. Because again, database is just a URL. Database has branching. And um, AI kind of makes mistakes. So creating those isolated environments uh, in a safe and secure way is a big deal for those AI systems. Which are really hard to do with traditional databases. I impossible. Um, last question. Um, what are you most excited about now that Neon's part of Databricks? How do you see the techs coming together, even though they kind of were coming together already? Right. Um, well, I'm excited to build the best OLTP system in the world that is fully integrated uh, with the uh, data and AI platform. So I, I think the um, analytical and OLTP systems, um, they have been separate uh, for a very, very long time. And there are all these use cases that are pure analytical, pure transactionals, but then there's also anything, everything in between. So I'm excited to, to not, not only build the most um, you know, scalable and efficient OLTP system in the world, but also deliver all the use cases for all of you that, that span the whole range between analytics and OLTP. All based on open source. All based on open source. <laughs> all right, thank you, Nikita. And uh, Ali, we're going to pass back to you.